Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We vlog occasionally, but right now for American Cancer Society. So we hope you come back during all the fun. I don't know how I look. <laughs> Good morning. We are folding laundry. Putting away St. Patrick's, St. Patrick's Day, Day. And bringing out. Easter. It's tough because Easter and St. Patrick's Day are in the same month. Easter's yeah. very early, so we're doing like a quick turnover. We'll probably keep Easter out for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I think you got chocolate on your face. <laughs> That's from Teddy. Teddy had a little uh, little accident and he needed some candy to lighten his spirits. I also took off work today. Um, you know, we just sometimes we gotta do that. Recharge the batteries appropriately. Spend time with the fam. Um, and put away decorations and stuff. And also, another thing that, that Sarah didn't mention yet is the afternoon hours are gonna be spent really beginning our nesting, which it feels crazy that we haven't done more, but we have a lot, like, you know, this is now gonna be baby three coming home. So we have a lot already in play. We already had a bad situation for Teddy because Charlie's gonna go to the bassinet. Um, so really it's just like getting out the newborn clothes bins and making sure what needs to get washed is washed it all, should be clean. Getting out like pumps and some of the other stuff that we need for like really postpartum care right away. Like that's gonna be the afternoon. So really fun, prepare for baby day. We're trying out this Motor City Pizza Company for lunch. Christina says it's super good. It's like Detroit style. It's in this tray. It has very specific instructions with where in the oven and it's best baked by itself and kind of been there for a long time, but I'm looking forward to trying it. The only, the only place I've found it is Walmart. Something I often do is snack. Like, everyone's hungry, so then while I'm making lunch, we snack, and then everyone's not as hungry for lunch, but sometimes you just gotta feed the tummies, right? Plus, plus at least hummus is nice and filling and nutritional. We got our Easter stuff out. I got this little cute glass. Well, let me get a better angle. I figured I would be talking more about food today, and I'll do that in a little bit, but, um, we're actually trying factor meals. I I think this whole pregnancy I have been um, struggling to like have inspiration what to cook and grocery shopping and that like we keep on doing like a lot of easy stuff which is absolutely fine. But it was just like I wanted to be a little bit more intentional about it and so when that arrives it's a, a free box. Our friend Katie Vining, um, she actually had like a little coupon for me to just like try it out. And she eats them and she swears by it. So again, I'll talk about that a little bit more when it arrives. But while we were on the subject of food, I was like, I cannot forget to share that that delivery is coming today. Um, I'm going to chill for a second and get the Instagram story updated because you guys have truly been kicking butt fundraising and having us do these vlogs which we're so so thankful for so i'm gonna update the story chill and then start getting the newborn boxes out um like peter mentioned charlie will be in our room for a bit but we don't have like we don't have storage in here for clothes so, like we're gonna start basically sharing teddy's room um with Charlie. So I just decided I'm just gonna show you. So I'm switching out this in this drawer. This will be have like all the newborn stuff in it. And then Teddy's stuff already lives well in these drawers. Um so we're just gonna move the hang ups to the closet and get the newborn stuff out. Also there's like other stuff we need to get out. Like this is the bassinet for the stroller duck tot there's like play mats and stuff so that's other stuff that we're gonna get out I know this is like all of the toys we've never like truly finished decorating in here because Jamesy's nursery just went like that decor went into his room and then we've just kind of kept it simple in here with Teddy and so I want Teddy to enjoy the new idea that we've had um, which is like a a subtle Magic Kingdom theme, and it's gonna, there's gonna be like different hats on the wall, like to represent each land. We have a nice castle canvas, um, and like the old, like mobile, like goes with the small world. 
I have a vision, um, but the goal is to have that before Charlie's here so that Teddy can enjoy it a little bit um, and then for it to be done by the time he actually moves in here. Probably, like, who knows? Like, Teddy was super tall, so he was out of his bassinet um, before Jamesy was. So we'll see, but like, usually six ish months. Um, but I just want them both to be able to enjoy it, and I want us to enjoy it too. Alrighty, and here. We have the exercise ball, which I should probably get blown up and use in. And then, like, we obviously were moving across the country again. And so, like, I feel like sometimes I get a box where it's like, okay, this makes sense. Like, feeding breast pump. I'm actually, I do get a new one. Um, you, with insur my insurance covers one every pregnancy. But then, like... These random little shoes <laughs> found their way in there. So this is great. I feel like a lot of the baby stuff did go in bags, so there's like good totes in there. Um, but actually pretty organized. This is like looks like all toys. I have a mat, like the little play mat. So we'll keep that together. Another carrier. But each bag is like a nice surprise. Like this one has stuff that we'll probably keep in our room. Creams, nursing cover. It had more like organizational stuff in here too. So, I mean, we just haven't touched this stuff in a year. So it's it's a surprise every 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 bag, every box. Our factor food has arrived. Yeah, the box. And Let's, open, please. Yeah, box, no box. No prep necessary. Make fresh meals. Box to unbox. Carbon neutral company. Wow. We love Captain Planet. Mm. Oh, nice ice packs. Ooh. I tried eight different things just to see. First, I had Katie send me a link to the ingredients list. And we'll talk about more about these as we like, as we eat them. It's food. Or space and they're fresh, so I think we have to put them in the fridge, not the freezer. This is our let's not go to McDonald's tonight. Let's do Factor, and that's that's where we're at. That's what we're gonna try to do. I had a lot of uh, Encore growing up, so I'm having. You're having microwave agita. Yeah, I'm having. I'm feeling a certain kind of way about this, but we're gonna give it a try. Yeah. Try. Our pizza is done, and I'm. I took a little bite. This is. It's really good. What'd you think of the pizza? It was good. Yeah? Mama goes Jets pizza. But for a frozen pizza option? B plus. These Winnie the Pooh shorts? A plus. They're a game changer when your child is like, I need to go to a nap right now, but I need to eat lunch real quick. So it's like a good in between. Yeah. Hooray! We have all of the newborn stuff down here pants some shorts these are like shirts that have graphics on them these are plain this is the the coming home outfit we will have to pack our bags soon um lots of birth cloth socks jammies so this will be the newborn because in my experience like teddy was seven pounds james was eight pounds seven ounces like that size, like they really do stick to the newborn size at first, and then they really go into the zero to three, and I found that the zero to three is just way too big at the beginning. So that's why I wanted to keep it separate. Um, so we'll have newborn and stuff at the ready, and kind of a little bit of chaos over here, but the zero to three stuff, I think I'm just gonna put in these two bins for now, and then like kind of reevaluate the space once. He's here. Just a fun afternoon playing with some Duplos. Why do days that you like pick off work to be productive at home and like stuff like that, they just fly by? Wish I would have taken today off to be productive and tomorrow off to relax. That's why every weekend needs to be three days. Um, Sarah just had a great suggestion that I should go run. Now it's six o'clock while she cooks dinner. Um, which is right, even though I don't want to right now, but it's better than going later after the kids go to sleep because I have to do schoolwork and I think today is a good day because it's been a home productive day. 
to tell you about the school that I've been doing because I don't know if I told you guys but uh, I'm I'm uh, in my second and third class of a master's program an MBA program but we'll get into that later so while Peter's on his run I am getting dinner ready I mentioned earlier today how I like have been struggling coming up with ideas and such so my most recent like quick fix is getting like a bag salad and like doing some sort of simple like protein and then just like jazzing up the salad. So last night we did like buffalo chicken on like a avocado crunch salad. And then today I'm recreating the Saratoga salad, which is just like lettuce, pulled pork. So I, instead of making the pulled pork today, I got like a pre-made thing of like I think it's Jack Daniels, um, pulled pork, chopped up apples, the candied pecans and cranberries, and poppy seed dressing. Um, so that way, again, it's like yummy and still like enjoyable, but far less work and not eating out. So if you have any recipe suggestions, throw them in the comments. Um, over the next 10 days, I'll share what we've come up with. But yeah, it's just something that I've really struggled with this pregnancy. I, I haven't been nauseous still, but I just like, I don't have like, I don't always have a taste for stuff. I just want to like go to a restaurant. <laughs> and just like that, my 85th run of the year, every single day, done. Uh, three miles today. I'm trying to do three miles or more every night. It smells delicious. Sarah was making, I don't know if you showed it, like I her version or with like a replica of the Saratoga Spring salad. We can't wait to eat this. Um, and then we're gonna go into like a, a kind of more typical nighttime routine. Mm -hmm. Like hang out and then baths and then bedtime routine. And then we'll go into editing the vlog and doing schoolwork, which I said I'll talk a little bit more about school later, depending on okay. how the evening goes. So here's the final product. The Saratoga salad definitely is like less barbecue-y pork. So maybe in the future I would just like slow cook pork over the day. Um, yeah, this is this is our dinner. And the boys ate while Peter was on the run, so. Date night. Date night. All right, friends. Sorry for the crazy hat. I don't know where my baseball hat went. And my hair's not done after all the runs and showers and dinners and everything, but this is now lately the Brookhart um, like evening plan, especially on days, actually even days we go out, but it's like dinner to a little bit of chill time into bath time, into calm pre-bed time, into bedtime, which involves reading books, singing songs, brushing teeth, flossing, um, and then Sarah and I divide and conquer and put the kids down and more times than not we each get a kid down Sometimes we have to tag team like tonight uh, Teddy wasn't going to bed wasn't going to sleep so Sarah tag teamed in uh, But then like the evening time kicks in which involves cleaning up the first floor with all the toys and the dishes and doing the dishes and then um doing certain, like certain days of the week, it's preparing like James for school or um, it, checking out what kind of um, appointments and scheduling things we have the next morning. And now more times than not, I do at least an hour of schoolwork because in January, you haven't seen this yet, I don't think we have shown it yet, um, but we will be getting up all of the Disneyland vlogs. We will get that up, that's not part of the ACS fundraiser. But we will be getting all those up and you will see, I think I've logged it. Um, I started a, an online MBA program with a concentration in business analytics through my alma mater UIC. Um, so then I'll have both my undergraduate and my graduate degrees from the same institution just because you know I love Chicago. Whoop, whoop. Um, but I started that in January. It, I am attempting the fast track which will be done in 13 months which is really just taking two classes at a time for eight week terms. Um, first term was one class, I eased into it, and then every term after that is two classes. And I'm doing my business concentration, business analytics concentration first, 
and like the two classes I'm in now are way more intensive than my first class. My first class I took was pretty straightforward. It, um, it was intro to business statistics and I did homework like I did all of my work for the week in one night for like an hour, hour and a half. It was really nice. I would pick a night after the kids went to bed. Most times even Sarah went to bed and I would do like an hour and a half worth of work and that would be it for, the, for that week. Um, these two classes I'm taking, one is like intro to operational management, the other one is a um, analytics class based in R, if anybody's familiar with that. Um, there's just a lot more content to consume, a lot more reading, a lot more videos to watch. And so I kind of have to map it out and like every week, or every day basically, I have to do at least an hour's worth of work, um, which I think is kind of normal. Um, but I think some of the classes, like the less analytical ones and the more business ones, won't be as intensive. Um, and at any point, I can downsize it and do one one class a term, or I think at a minimum I have to do three or four, I think it's like four classes, maybe it's five classes, four classes in a year, which is considered three terms. No, it's considered five terms. Um, so I could even take like a term off in a calendar year and still be considered full time. Um, but it would obviously take me longer. Like if I do one class at a time, it'll take me two full calendar years. If I do this expedited version, it takes me just over one. So I'd be finishing next March. I would be getting my degree. So we're going to go for it. Um, we kind of decided that life will only get crazier. So why not? And, um, you know, my work knows that I would love to grow my career at my current company. But if, um, if there's roadblocks and I need to leave my company to continue to grow to support my family and my career, that I do think an MBA would be beneficial um, for those future advancements in my career when I become a director, when I become a vice president one day, um, and anything further um, that will kind of help out. So I just finished cleaning up the joint, loading the dishwasher. Thank you for enjoying this four minute Peter Rambles. I don't know how much Sarah is going to cut out of this, but time to, I have to write a little uh, term paper like proposal tonight. Um, so I have some YouTube on, going to write that and then it'll be bedtime. All right, I'm calling it. Did some more mapping out of my week and my little work book. The interesting thing about me taking this MBA program is I was a terrible student in my undergrad, um, but we are... We're, we're breaking that, that schooling generational trauma. Um, it's funny, like I actually got accepted into the MBA program, I think mostly because of my corporate experience in the past seven years and uh, the letters of recommendations that I had some really close people in uh, my professional and personal life write for me. I got accepted, but it was immediately put on academic probation. They're like, hey, we'll let you in. If this makes sense, you've been in the corporate space for seven years, manager for corporate space for like eight or not eight years I think uh, manager going on five years um, in like big corporate offices so yeah it makes sense but your undergrad was awful um, so let you in but you can't screw up the first you know like four classes um, and I don't plan on screwing up any of the classes but it is funny like me the world I'm in now um, two babies a third one about to be here um, compared to what life looked like when I was in my undergrad but um, a lot of it's just figuring out planning around like what I need to do, how much I need to do it during the week and every day, and is that gonna be done in between meetings at work or after the kids go to sleep and late nights like this, or am I gonna carve out a chunk of time um, on the weekend? And I don't mean to turn this into another Peter Rambles, um, so I'll make it short and sweet because I was about to sign off because it is late. But um, Sarah and the boys are super supportive of me. We know it's for the betterment of our family in the long term in my career and support the family. My boss and my, my team at work are very supportive of it as well. My boss has been like, hey, let's get everything situated so that you can best thrive in this because this will help me in my career and, and in my job right now. I'm already thinking like, I'm already trying to apply things I'm learning now to my actual job right now. So not to be all cheesy and weird and boring at the end of this vlog, but it's the reality of it. And, and, and we're gonna work really hard over the next 12 months to get this done, hopefully in 12 months, but if we have to slow it down and do two years, we'll do it. But I think we're gonna get it done in 12 months. Um, you guys know the Burkhardt's like an all or nothing kind of challenge. So 
Thank you again for all your support with the ACS fundraiser. Today was a home vlog. Um, I'm not sure what tomorrow holds, but um, you guys might see Sarah takes the boys out, either one, just one of them or two or both of them um, out. And I think she was talking about maybe doing that tomorrow during the day while I have a busy day of meetings because I took off today um, and we're preparing for my leave. I get six weeks of leave, if you guys didn't know, um, when Charlie's born, but there's a lot of pr preparation that has to get done so that I can comfortably take the six weeks and make sure that my team is good and my job is in a good standing for when I leave on I return. Anyway, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.